and the search for the newest member of the FBH, Mrs. Mrs. Fields, Roaster, continues. It's your boy, Triple Star, once zero. Once again, thankful for the opportunity given to be part of this magnum celebration known as FBH's NXT Next Generation. On the way to the ring right now, we have Scott Summers, the man known as Cyclops, leader of the Alpha Team of the group known the world over as X-Men. As CAW as, as, uh, enthusiasts know, he was a very uh, important part over at SCAW, so if anything, he, ca he brings some veteran skills to the table. And he, we're hoping that he might make it to the roster proper. However, in order to do so, he must at least defeat his opponents here. And the opponent uh, chosen for him this time is no easy walk, I'll tell you right now. Who is this opponent I'm speaking of? Oh, you get to know in a few seconds. Yes, folks, his opponent is none other than Jenny Storm, the man known as the Human Torch. And as we know, Human Torch has a brash, a, a highly arrogant attitude, but all I could say is this. I don't condone his attitude or his or manners, but when you're as good as this guy has proven to be here at FBH, you could back, you, you could more than back up your word. So he will be, in my opinion, a tough contender for Cyclops to uh, pass over in order to become the newest member of the roster. Officiator Dwayne Mills has called for the rail and let's get this started. Oh, nice optic sweep by um, Cyclops to on um, the human torch. Now he goes behind, wrenches the arm and Billy the belly on um, um, spin slam right there. Now a couple of chops of the measure. Goes behind and oh, lands the upper back into his knee. Hey, human torch retaliates with that Enzugiri right there. Couple of punches, and oh, leg up, what a kick by the Human Torch to uh, Cyclops, and a running net breaker for the measure. Now he lands the elbows one after the other on the shoulder blades of Cyclops. Now, oh, a couple of shoulders, a kick, and a drop kick to the upper back by um, the Human Torch to Cyclops. Cyclops retaliates with a couple of kicks, but doesn't do much. There, go, there we go with Human Torch with a dragon screw right there. Now Cyclops trying to control the head, but to no avail. Now Human Torch picks up Cyclops, and now a kick. Now Cyclops retaliates with a wrench of the, uh, the arm, and oh, a nice uh, time and carry right there. Now Human Torch touches him to the ropes, and picks him up. Oh, tilt to world backbreaker, with a Thorita right there. Now he picks uh, Cyclops up, shoves him to the rope once again. And he wrote a flapjack. And that would have hurt the head right there. Now Cyclops goes behind the human torch. And he goes for a ooh, belly to back slam right there. Now Cyclops trying to take some momentum on it. Ooh! Oh, nice rebound on German suplex. And did you see the elevation on that release right there? Now Cyclops goes for another optic sweep to the Human Torch. And he's keeping the pressure there. And he goes for another release German suplex. I never knew Cyclops had that kind of strength, but hey, if he does, even better. Now he goes for the, ooh, gut wrench suplex. Nothing fancy, just pain. He goes back to the, going to the back of uh, Human Torch, but that doesn't pay off. And neither does that uh, office. And he goes for the, another German suplex. No release this time. Now Cyclops picks the Human Torch up. There's a lockup. And now uh, Human Torch goes behind. Controls the head. Ooh! Elbow to the forearm right there. Trying to control the head again. Ooh! Nice retaliation by Cyclops with that suplex there. And a leg drop for the measure. Now he picks up Cyclops. Oh, Ooh! Right to the eye. And I don't know why he hit uh, the shader. Uh, Dwayne Mills didn't call for that. Oh! Did you see the elevation? And I released German right there once again by Cyclops. 
He can throw the air, but oh, to no avail. Human Torch retaliates nicely with that sweep. Now, oh, once again, the upper back goes to the near Cyclops there. Now, Human Torch trying to control the header. Here we go. Oh, Manhattan drop. And yes, folks, that's legal. Because he connects in the cut six, not on the other area that you're thinking. Now, Human Torch chases him through the ropes. With, oh, I can't let go down Nice elbow. And follows it up with a jumping crossbody. And goes for the moose, all demonstrating that athleticism that I was talking to you earlier. Now Human Torch goes for that. Oh, another basic yet effective. A backbreaker. And again, we go for that. Oh, Moon. So, and once again, to quote um, Long Star 033 from SCAW, repeat the move for the win. <laughs> now Human Torch goes for that. Uh, leg sweep. And another couple of um, standing Moon Souls. Demonstrated that agility of it. Hey, he bucks it up with that nice uh, judo hip toss. And another flapjack for good measure from the human torch to Cyclops. And Cyclops decides to cut that momentum short. And goes for the running lariat. And a leg drop. Now he goes for another leg drop. Cyclops does to the human torch. And he does a uh, uh, springboard crossbody of his own. Now he's stumping him out of and running it dry. Like good old JR would say. Now Cyclops picks Human Torch up, but oh, nice evasion into a deep to the cut and a jumping wheel kick. Actually, a jumping heel kick. I'm sorry. Now I see evil intentions in the Human Torch there. I think he was gonna go for the table, but that didn't happen. But oh, flame, <laughs> flame around connects right there in the floor, but that didn't do much to Cyclops. Who tosses? The human torch into the steps. And yes, folks, it's still legal, believe it or not. And so is that running net breaker to the floor. And I think Human Torch is gonna wanna take a count of victory, but <laughs> Cyclops thought otherwise. Now he's going for that combo there. And oh belly to belly with a fire right there. Now Cyclops does the human torch into the corner. And oh, what's he planning? Here we go. We go Ruby Bomb! Ruby Bomb connects right there, right after the Ruby Bomb. We know that he has something evil planned. But then again, he might just set him up for a pen. And he got one! I only could have gotten a one, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, oh what is it? Oh, what is it? Up the, oh, Optic Splicer! Optic Splicer connects right there. He got one! Two! Only to the count of two, the human and two to the toe. And now, who is it? Human toes are gonna retaliate! Who is it? Flame on! Flame on connects power to Cyclops right there. And now it will be the turn for the human torch to try to win this by pinfall the one! Only to the count of one, ladies and gentlemen. The match continues. Oh, the more package by the human torch one! And oh, this action is getting so intense. And pardon the pun, heated right here on FBH NXT Next Generation. Now Human Torch, oh, cutting up whatever momentum Cyclops was trying to aim for. And reaches the arm into the canvas. Oh, but <laughs> the evasion of Cyclops was not much. Now Human Torch goes behind. Now with Cyclops that goes behind. And, oh, double chop to the chest of uh, the Human Torch. He was trying to go for a slingshot cross body, but <laughs> Human Torch read that telegram. Now Cyclops getting up and oh, nice evasion from that double axe handle, but that doesn't do much. A Cyclops oh, retaliating with that nasty uh, vertical suplex to uh, the Human Torch and follows it up with the leg to the elbow right there. Almost trying to triple him, I guess. Now Cyclops going for the camel crutch. Is Human Torch going to tap? Is he going to tap? No, folks. He is able to reach low and a break is called. Now, Cyclops is continuing the pressure there. Now, he goes for a couple of punches. Ooh! And a toss over. As I said earlier, I'm surprised at how strong he actually is. But hey, 
He's not the leader of the, the alpha team of the X-Men for nothing, right? <laughs> now he picks uh, a human torch up, but oh, nice surplus for the bridge. One, and only to the count of one, ladies and gentlemen. Now he goes back into the offensive. Cyclops does. Toughest uh, human torch to the rope. To oh, nice counter by the human torch. Into a slow package, but only gets a count of one. Now a couple of hits by the human torch. And a couple more. Now he controlling the head. And here we go with a, oh, good buster. Nothing fancy, but just as effective. Now the human torch uh, pays the, now the human torch is uh, returning the receipt to our cyclops. Going into the combo clutch. The cyclops going to tap. The cyclops going to tap. Now he's desperately reaching for ropes. Is he going to do it? But somehow, some way, he breaks out of the hole by the human torch. Who picks him up and goes for another jumping heel kick? Now Human Torch picks him up again and ooh, kick to the gut. Now Cyclops controls the head and that didn't do much. Face to the canvas with him once again he goes. And another uh, jumping heel kick for good measure. Now Human Torch picks Cyclops up and ooh, he was going for something else. But, oh, he gets cut into that belly to belly slam right there. By Cyclops who goes outside and goes for another slingshot. Cross by and this time he connects. Now, he picks the human torch up. And, oh, clip to the leg. Clip to the leg and we'll do the only one. Two, only to the count of two, ladies and gentlemen. Two to the two. And here we go again. Optic, Optic Splicer. Optic Splicer. Middle of the ring with a one, two. Oh, to a nine tenth, ladies and gentlemen. How intense it has gotten. Oh, back and make breaker by the human torch. Two, Cyclops, uh oh, he's calling for it, he's calling for it, he's letting us all know, are we going to see it, are we going to see it again, I guess we are, flame on, flame on the next one again, and this time with everything, and here we go, one, two, and this one's over, ladies and gentlemen, the Human Torch picks this victory. All in all, a valiant effort by Cyclops, but in the end, the, the brash and ruthless nature of the human torch was able to prevail. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you one and all for watching us here at NXT Next Generation. On behalf of everybody at FBH, this is your boy Triple Star Wars here. Zero. So long, everybody. See you on the next one. Peace. How's it going everybody? It's Danny Mac, the voice of the CSW champion. We have a second round bout in the Battle Royal for the FBH-XC Volume 2. And here is Sawyer the Cleaner for the love of God. Someone gets the chainsaw away from her. Seriously, someone get away from her. Sawyer and Queen are um, defeating Tila in her first pass. That we're sort of getting into the money round of the time. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 not, not cool. Not cool, Sawyer, not cool. Not cool. Sawyer and Queen are as cool as trying to get out the theater. Is someone gonna get the chainsaw away from me or no? She beats you on the first match, and here it is. The teenage super agent herself. The impossible. Saving the world for dinner time. I think that's the best I might be wrong. I just can't wait until I hear myself away. Doesn't matter if you stay or not. Everything is gonna be on. Whoever you need me, baby. 
Uh, eventually, as a, essentially, as eventually, when this whole thing is over, there's gonna be one man and one woman that gets a guy tries to join the FBA. Drop super kick! Right out of the gate. I don't think even the Young Bucks throw a super kick right out of the gate. I mean, it was still way a couple of times, I don't think. But right now, it is all Kim Possible in the early going. So now, as Sawyer the stomp in the uh, lady parts, that is, yes, that is low, and no, I don't believe. Referee, when he knows, is going to call it. I think that is going to stay official then. Uh, Sawyer the Cleaner, a.k.a. Frederick Sawyer. Fred Frederica Sawyer. Oh my goodness! Look at all bottom there, man. Sawyer of a takedown. Now Cam with a sunset flip powerbomb. Kick is blocked. The soil on the pole line. Fragment. Super kick! It's a super kick party in FBH! Uh, oh! Sword of a powerbomb counter. Sawyer from the uh, anime Black Lagoon. Um, the same series as uh, that uh, ACW's Revius come from. And Revius made quite a name for herself in her short time in ACW, ACW with multiple wins over Samus, including most recently on ACW Excel episode 70 and or 69. I might be wrong. My math might be wrong. I don't know. Oh! The other force put me quite an established star in FDH. Definitely a rising star. And right now, Soria has it by the arm, takes it down, and drops the leg on the arm. Trying to disable the left arm, but him, even one and a half arms is better than most. There's a drop kick. Big misses that kick or not. Now Soya was wondering when she was going to get around to it. After all, she's been super kicked twice in the early moments of this match. She's not only going to work on the legs, but can put a stop to that. I don't know, I think I might have caught it in the air there. Oh my god! Sawyer has got to find a way to put a stop to those kicks. Including that one, spinning heel kick. Oh! Hip slap your ass. Let him out be pleased. And just to make sure she got the message, she did it again. And right now, Kim, oh, I was about to say Kim has taken control, but saw him a drop kick from behind. So yeah, things gotta put, gotta put up, start putting something together here. Oh, that drop kick missed. And it's a good by Kim. Now Kim, a double sword to the back. Oh, Sawyer hurting for certain, and I don't think 
That is going to change. Double back down. Two. Yes. Oh, almost three. Sorry hanging around, but she's got to put something together if she wants. Oh, that might be the open. She needed it. Sorry with the leg drop to Kim. Not at all. Sort of standing around and mind her handiwork. Did not follow up at him right across her here. Now Kim with the camel clutch. Trying to humble you under Frederica Sawyer. Sawyer's nowhere near a rope and Kim finally lets it Kim lets it go, however, that So so do I think she might have had a beat there, but that's just me. Not it by Sawyer. But Kim back up to him. He does a drop kick. Yes. Oh, man, he kicks my kill. And he has scissors. My kill. Oh, I kick blocked and sort of a dragon school leg grip and drops away. And drops another leg. But Kim right back to work. In the face. Oh, hold on. And she had it. Oh, so you up at two. So the last kick from behind us. Oh, kick again. And oh, so on the slice and dice. Oh, just one. Just one. Yikes. Can't let's throw that the drama. The leg is hooked, and it is over. I got no idea what's back on this match. You probably gonna think that she might get away here. But this is all you move to enough to advance. That's gonna be up to you. We're at the 8th. And at the 6th. Drop it down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this match in groups, I mean in group C of FBH NXT 2, round 2, and I'm going to tell you something, this is about as big match feel as you're going to get in this. We've got a Marvel vs. DC matchup. There's Black Adam, a prospect who I really feel like right now might be the top prospect. Takes on Luke Cage, and you gotta realize, this is a huge, huge opportunity for Black Adam. Black Adam wins this match. I think it's no, I mean, it's clear that he is the overall favorite. I mean, he, he has a chance to take out a guy who is one of the top players in FBH. 
I told you fake that. And here comes that man right now. I leave your ass in vacant lots. I said what I feel. Here's Luke Cage. I mean, I, I'm saying this again. This is big match feel. Because even to me, even if he loses Black Adam, if he puts up a game fight against one of the top guys in FBH and Luke Cage, who's had rivalries with some of the top guns like Shin and Juggernaut, Doomsday and the Dynasty, he has to be looked at as the favorite. He has to put on a game effort tonight, in my opinion, though. And if he even pulls, if he pulls the win and just gets that upset, it's something. But think about what the other guys went through. Axel Stone took on Shamwell Vince. Shamwell Vince really hasn't done anything in FEH. Look at Blade. I mean, look at Jeff the Killer beating Blade. But again, Blade's never really been a, a top guy. And then Cyclops lost to Human Torch. Now. Human Torch really has never done anything in FEH either. He got one title shot, but that was because he was whining so much. And we're waiting on the referee to bell, and here we go. Oh, they both miss a punch. That was really epic looking, though. And now they tie up. Black Adam gets the better of it. Now an Irish whip. On an overhead belly to belly. Now Black Adam's got him in a headlock. On an atomic drop. Black Adam now with another headlock on oh, a clubbing blow to Luke Cage. And so far in this match, Black Adam has just been taking advantage. But oh, wait, Luke Cage is coming back now on oh, an elbow to the face. Now another headlock. Oh, and a spine buster. What a spine buster right there. Oh, a poke to the eyes from Black Adam. And now. Black Adam's got behind on a Russian leg sweep. Folks went around and it has already been. And on oh, a back suplex by Luke Cage. And now, oh, an overhead belly to belly from Black Adam again. Now a clubbing blow to the back. Oh, and Luke Cage drops him. Wow, what, what action we are seeing here. Oh, and a tilt-a-whirl slam by Black Adam and now it, Oh, but he gets back suplexed again by Luke Cage. Oh, and again. What a round it has been. What a chop by Luke Cage. I was going to give an overall thought about what I thought of the round. I'm going to say right now, in the men's department, I think the top three, in my opinion right now, are Axel Stone. Oh, and what a slam by Black Adam. I think the top three right now are Jeff the Killer, Luke Cage, and, I mean I said Luke Cage, sorry about that, Axel Stone and this man. If he can pull off this upset, I think he really does have a great opportunity to go on and do big things in this company if he can win the full-on competition. On oh, what elbows to the back of the shoulders. If I had to give my overall bottom free right now, I would probably go with Green Arrow. Because, let's be honest, Green Arrow's been dominating. Oh, Black Adam now taking advantage, but Luke Cage comes back. Now Luke Cage, oh, but Black Adam drops him. Green Arrow just hasn't looked good. I mean, he's been dominated in most... I mean, he just got dominated by Sentry. Sentry bouncing back with a huge win after losing the Cyclops in the first round. Oh, Black Adam drops Luke Cage. But anyway... My overall bottom three in the men's... Like I said, Green Arrow, I think Cyclops losing the Human Torch was a bad loss for him. And all 
also, it's hard for me to say who would be that other third person in the bottom. I know two clear ones right now. As far as the women go, I'm going to say it, for the most part, I know some people might not want to hear this, but the Black Lagoon characters have been kind of overrated on what an elbow drop by Luke Cage. I mean, I know Revy won her match after her losing her first round match, which was big time beating Faye Valentine. But as far as the other two go, on Luke Cage coming back with that series of punches. What a neck breaker. And now Black Adam. Irish lifts him. On another tilt world slam. Black Adam now. Oh, the nice clothesline. But as I was saying, if I had to pick a bottom three this round from the women's side, I'd probably go Roberta, Bella Laka, and Tila, if I had to really just say it. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. I watched Sawyer the Cleaner get beat by uh, Kim Possible earlier tonight. But, I'm going to be honest, I took a piss break during the Bella Laka match with uh, Yelena because oh the cover here one oh man Black Adam just went for an arrogant cover now he goes for a cover get one oh he kicks out again at one but I mean even if Bell like a one oh and a super kick and now Luke Cage has the cover one oh Black Adam kicks out oh my sweet Christmas and he goes for the cover one two and Black Adam somehow kicks out. Oh, and a kick to the gut. What a combination. Oh, wait, Black Adam now. Oh, Black Lightning. He connects on Luke Cage. With oh, and he's going for the pit. He's got his feet on the ropes. One, two. Oh, and Luke Cage kicks out. And now, oh, what an overhead belly to belly from Luke Cage. And now, oh, what a move. Now Black Adam. Oh, another belly to belly. And now he goes for a cover. One. Oh, he kicks out. Folks, what a match this has been. Power versus power. Oh, and a jawbreaker by Luke Cage. Oh, a leg drop. Real quick after. Nice combo. And now... Oh, great wrestling going on here. Oh, Black Adam catches him with a belly to belly. But as I said, if I was giving... Oh, what a clothesline. Didn't get it all, though. Now they tie up again. Black Adam's got a headlock. Oh, what a punch. On oh, a clothesline. On oh, another tilt world slam. But right now, just gonna get my views on the tag teams. Oh, the sit down clothesline. And Black Adam now just coming at it. Oh, he tried to go for a clothesline, but he got rolled up. Small package, one. And now Luke Cage. On oh, a gut buster. Now what's Luke Cage going for here? Oh, splash. What a move. But on the tag teams, from my opinion. Uh oh. On a tiger bomb. Into a cover one. Oh, but Luke Cage kicks out at one. In my opinion, as far as tag teams go, be the best team in Star Trek. I, I like what the Dark Avengers did against the Double Dragon team, but I just think that right now. 
Oh, and another overhead belly to belly from Luke Cage. But I like Team Star Trek the best out of all of them, in my opinion. And now Luke Cage goes for another cut one. Oh, and Black Adam kicks out. And now Luke Cage got a headlock. Gets sent over the top rope. What's Black Adam going for here? Now Black Adam. Oh, hard Irish whip into the corner. Oh, what a move into a bridging pin. One, two, oh. Kicked out at one. Now Black Adam again. Oh, he's got... Oh, man, that's a mission hold. But Luke Cage gets out of it. And throws him over his shoulder. It's Luke Cage going, oh, what a punch. Black Adam has to be knocked out after that. And now Luke Cage goes for the cover. One. Oh, and he kicks out. And now Black Adam's got him in a headlock. Oh, and a T-bone suplex. Black Adam's dragging. Oh, wait, he's going for the cover on Luke Cage. Now one, two. Oh, and Luke Cage kicks out. But wait, Black Adam caught him. Oh, is it again? For the second time, Black Lightning. And now Black Adam goes to the cover. One, two, three. Oh, he pulled off the upset. To me, he pulled off the upset of the second round. Black Adam beat Luke Cage. What an effort. I did not even see that coming. He beat him? If he's not the clear favorite right now, I don't know who is. Good grief. He's clearly the favorite now. Thank you everyone for joining us for FBH NXT 2. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, car fans of all ages, welcome to the final match in the second round of NXT 2, the next generation. This is Timmy Dangerously, the voice of FEH, here to call this mother of Russia match, so to speak. As here comes the proprietor of Hotel Moscow, Balalaika. Now Balalaika, which is obviously from Black Goo fame, has had an interesting couple of matches here. Actually, this is her second match. Her first match, she lost to Chitara, but was voted in as one of the many that survived this one. Not only she survived this one, she got the most votes. Well, one of the most votes to face a member of the FBH roster. And here comes her opponent. The Black Widow herself, Yelena Belova. Well, if you're a Dark Avenger, that's what she is. Now Yelena, still fresh in that VH. A couple episodes ago, that she made her debut. If I'm not mistaken, it was well before our last mega event, which was Cruel Intentions. She made her debut. Hasn't done much. But she decided to go with this challenge against a fellow Russian. Now, as I said before, this is the final match in the second round, so you know what that means. Bone is coming up very, very soon. You go to the fan page at facebook.com forward slash faces versus heels C-A-W. It will have all the info on how to vote. But right now, this matchup is about to begin. And Yelena, nice suplex there on Balalaika. Now go behind. 
Flip to a front chancery. Now working on the arm. Elena trying to trying to take away the base of Balalaika. Going on the offense early in the early going. But now Balalaika with a gut buster. On Belova. Now oh back funny drop. Nice counter by Balalaika. Now Balalaika with a go behind. Reverse by Belova. Now Belova. Set chest first. Into the turnbuckle. Then gets a DDT for trouble. Now Colin Noble tied by the two ladies. Takes her over. Oh, elbow right to the shoulder and to the neck. Now. Russian leg sweep, how appropriate. Well, if a Russian does that, can we just call it a leg sweep? Now, Balalaika. Belly to the back, suplex. On the widow. Now, who's fighting back? Russian whip, reverse. Power slam by Yelena. Nicely done. Now Balalaika, oh, reverse into a DDT. Balalaika trying to, sh trying to impress you fans into keeping her out of the elimination match, which will happen when the voting begins. As I said, that's coming up soon. Oh, hammerlock slam by Elena for the second time. And now takes the leg out. That's what you call taking out, out the base. Because Balalaika, no doubt, is about over six feet. About six one. Tall drink of water there. Oh, power slam. Turned the counter into a counter. Now front chancery. Beautiful maneuver there by Yelena. Now just working on the side of Balalaika's head. Now Balalaika looking to make a comeback. Could this start it? Picks her up. Full away slam. And another back body drop. And follows that up with a leg drop. A lot of drops in that last 30 seconds. Now Yelena sends Bella Lake over the top. Wasted time. That might be as a detriment. Leg drop from the middle row. Bella Lake again, innovative. But Yelena saying enough of that. Neck breaker. Yelena showing a strong out in here. Looks like the roles are reversed a little bit. It looks like Yelena want to impress the NXT crowd. It's supposed to be Bella Laker. Remember, this is an FVH versus NXT match. Bella Laker was one of the four ladies chosen. To face off a against a member of the FVH roster. And now, Yelena, suplex, Balalaika over the top, back into the ring. And now, right, in right hands on the side of her head. And now, DDT. Could this be enough to. Put that leg away or not yet. And now, Lethal Recon. Lethal Recon. Good to go. Can't be it because it was only a one count. And now, go Russian Sickle. Russian Sickle by Bella Lake almost took Yelena's head off, but only gets a two. Bella Laker 
with that she's saying, oh, look at that German suplex by Elena and a close one of her own there's a receipt and now German suplex by a Russian how weird saying is that and now oh what well, she got playing here oh face first into the mat And now, third time, Hammerlock Slam. Just working on all parts of the body is Yelena. Bella Lakin needs to pick up the pace if she wants to show that. If she wants to show a good out. Ah, oh, there it is. This could be the start of it. Now, Bella Lakin. Trying to find a way. Oh! Kick right to the right to the chest area. Yeah, Don Lake is low over six feet. So you later had to get some height on that arm um, boot. And now DT no! Leg sweep! And a leg drop! And now oh, right to the face! But Yelena whips on the drop kick attempt. And now two shots to the small of the back. And now Balalaika with another neck breaker. And a knee. Ooh, square in the face. And now forearm. Just laid her out. Could this be it? Could Balalaika take this one? Oh, Yelena kicks out at one. And gives Balalaika another stiff boot. Close line. Now Balalaika. Oh, she's going for the sickle again. But he got countered. A second lethal recon. The end may be near for Balalaika. Hooking a leg by Belova. Two and oh, she kicks out. Kicked out of two. Oh, but she got caught. There it is. Widow Sting. Yelena hits the Widow Sting. And it's over. Yelena Belova scores another one for the FVH roster. And she defeats Balalaika. But the main question is, was that, was that performance by Balalaika enough to keep her out of the elimination round? We will soon see. I'm Timmy Dangerly. Thanks for watching the second round of NXT 2. The elimination matches are coming soon.